Today I've got some information on some of AMD's upcoming products, and we already have some Titan V gaming benchmarks, so stay tuned. Welcome back to GamerMeld. For those waiting patiently for AMD's second generation Ryzen CPUs, you won't have to wait too much longer. AMD just released an updated roadmap for future product releases, and it more or less confirms what we already expected. Second generation Ryzen is set to release in the first quarter of 2018. According to the graph, it looks like the launch will be towards the end of Q1, but WCC FTech claims we'll see Ryzen 7 as early as February with Ryzen 5 and 3 launching in March. They aren't naming sources, so it's purely a rumor at this point. Either way, if it is true, it'll be a huge difference from the late July launch of first generation Ryzen 3. When it comes to what we should expect from AMD's newest CPU, according to the interview I discussed a couple videos back, Ryzen 2 should utilize Global Foundry's 12 nanometer FinFET technology. If we head to the initial announcement by Global Foundry, circuit density gets an improvement as high as 15% and performance should be improved by over 10% when compared to previous 14 and 16 nanometer technology. While still looking at the graph, you can see that Ryzen 3 APUs are coming soon as well. It looks like we should expect an early Q1 release, probably around January or early February. Next up for today, Titan V gets its first gaming benchmarks posted over at Reddit, with the user claiming to have gotten them on the Nvidia Discord server. Well, they don't disappoint. And speaking of Discord servers, if you like to talk all things gaming and hardware, make sure to check out the GamerMail Discord server. You'll find that linked in the description below. Okay. Little promotional interjection aside, the Titan V scored 32,744 points on stock clocks on 3D Mark Firestrike and right at 36,000 points when overclocked. The 1080 Ti and Titan XP get around 28 to 29,000 stocks, so the Titan V gives us about a 15.5% higher performance. When looking at boost performance, the 1080 Ti scores around 31,000, which means the Titan V gives us roughly a 16% increase in performance when overclocked. There were also some benchmarks done on actual games with DirectX 12 Ashes of Singularity on crazy preset level and a resolution of 1440p getting around an average of 85 FPS. Then Gears of War got an average frame rate of 157.5 FPS and Rise of the Tomb Raider getting an average of about 65.56 FPS. There were some other synthetic benchmarks I didn't cover, so I'll have the original post linked in the description for anyone wanting to see it. Either way, I'm sure we'll see some improvement over time with regular driver updates, but so far the Titan V is looking pretty impressive. Dollar for dollar though, I wouldn't recommend it for just gaming, but it should give us an idea of what Volta has to offer in the future. So while that does it for today, are you excited for Ryzen 2 or just ready for Volta GPUs to begin rolling out? Let me know down in the comments below. That does it for now. If you liked the video, don't forget to subscribe by clicking on the round icon in the middle. You can check out the most recent video and suggest a video to the left. Thanks so much for coming, and as always, have a great day.